There is no denying that the modern politics is a bleak affair. Not only bleak, but our dystopia is dotted with the most boring, untalented and useless political leaders in the major parties. This isn't only a problem for Australia, but for the whole Western world. Look at the leader of the free world, Democrat President Joe Biden. He struggles to find a microphone, and when he does, there's a danger he'll read out the stage directions on the auto cue. Imagine what we can do next. Oh, no. Four more years. Four more years. They, these are not the giants of history. They are footnotes in the grand book of Western civilization, remembered at best as a joke. But if we look back to the 70s, we will find one of the most important figures in our political history, the Iron Lady, Margaret Thatcher. To those waiting with bated breath for that favorite media catchphrase, the U-turn, I have only one thing to say. You turn if you want to. <laughs> the ladies not for turning. No, she was not for turning. When she decided to do something, it was done. Meanwhile, our political class are turning away from their catastrophic mistakes. They are in danger of dislocating their necks they are doing it so quickly. Baroness Thatcher was born in 1925 and she was not a child of privilege. Her privilege was a love of knowledge and parents who encouraged her to pursue her gifts. She began as a student of chemistry and then became a barrister. There were no diversity quotas here. On her own merits and nothing more, she was elected to Parliament in 1959. She held various roles in the Tory party before her election as the first female British Prime Minister in 1979, which, it must be noted, she did not win because she was a woman, but because she was a force of nature. She promised to control inflation, curtail the power of the trade unions and fix the unemployment nightmare. And I'll strive unceasingly to try to fulfil the trust and confidence that the British people have placed in me and the things in which I believe. And I would just like to remember some words of St Francis of Assisi, which I think are really just particularly apt at the moment. Where there is discord, may we bring harmony. Where there is error, may we bring truth. Where there is doubt, may we bring faith. And where there is despair, may we bring hope. And to all the British people, howsoever they voted, may I say this. Now that the election is over, may we get together and strive to serve and strengthen the country of which we are so proud to be a part. Prime Minister. And finally, finally, one last thing. Yes. In the words of Erin Eve, whom we had hoped to bring here with us, there is now work to be done. As I was reading through her legacy and her enormous wealth of extraordinary quotes, there was one that struck me as particularly important for the world right now. She said in her 1986 speech in defense of freedom, quote, terrorism thrives on a free society. The terrorist uses the feelings in a free society to sap the will of civilization to resist. If the terrorist succeeds, he has won and the whole of free society has lost, end quote. That's something for us to think about.